Hello everybody, my name is Eddie Pido, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing our next episode of uh, Satisfactory after the weekend. Uh, it's going to be episode 16 today and we are going to be continuing, uh, well hopefully and production of the reinforced iron plates. I, I got it right that time, I got it right. Okay. Uh, so we have our lovely factory here. Let's just go around here. Okay, so uh, one thing I do need to do is is this? Uh, yeah, that's just Mark Three stuff. Um, I need to go into here and I need to convert that one goes to there and then that one goes to there. Um, There's my stairs, lovely. Start using the stairs, they're a bit easier to use to get up and down. Um, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, so uh, we got Mark 1. We just swap, swap these over to Mark 1s. Now, in order to make this line effective, um, we actually need four lines of this cable, which is kind of irritating. Um, what I really need to do is work on my next um, my next elevator. Pro um, what would you call that? Uh, not a process. Ooh, 24 iron plates, nice. Um, project, project, that's the word I was looking for. So we're going to run over there now and see what we need. And then maybe we can use some of these to run other projects. Um, motors. I think it's mo the motors are rotors, I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's rotors. Um, but we can get rotors going and the modulated frames. Um, oh, I'm running the wrong way here. Not ready. what we need so we need 500 modular frames and 150 motors alrighty let's focus on getting them built now modular frames if I remember rightly take uh, the reinforced iron plates and I think they take screws I think We'll find out anyway because we've got eight um, assemblers just sat there kind of doing nothing. May take a bit of moving and fiddling around, but we'll do it. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, rotors, it's screws and rods. And modular frames, oh it's, it's plates and rods. Okay, so we can do the modular frames first. Now we have access to rods here. Um, and let's see, we need to figure out what we're processing and how much of each. Okay, so we got eight in a row. So it's these four here. 
the next four are over. So we've got four, eight, right, we've got 12 uh, going into one of these. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, 15 per minute times 12. Ooh, let's have a gander. Better use my trusty calculator because my brain just sucks when it comes to calculations. And I don't need to put my phone on charge. Uh, where are we now? Come on. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> 15 times by 12, that's 180 rods per minute. That's how much we're putting out. So now we need to work out how many rods we're going to need to run four assemblers because I'm pretty sure that the, the reinforced plates uh, produce the same as what's used to make the modular frames. If that's the case then we're going to be using the assemblers further down here. So it'll be this and this here because these are producing the, the modular frame, uh, the frames which means we're probably going to use this one and this one to make the reinforced modular frames so all we've got to figure out is how to get um, thingies down here which is probably relatively simple we'll just run some splitters under here and under here and then just run straight from down there because I'm pretty sure um, our rotors also need rods as well but we also need screws okay so let's find out what we need um, rod wise to make uh, modular frames 24 per minute so that's 24 times 4 that's a hundred no that's 96 per minute considering one side puts out 180 yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good um, now we've got 16 on here I just realized um, right so we've got rotors we've got modular frames uh, we want oh that's our alternate there um, we also want the encased industrial beams but I'll build them over with the steel when we get the steel factory set up um, Stratos, same, um, of course the motors and everything, so yeah we're going to need rotors and we need modular frames. We get the modular frame set up first, mainly because, um, let's get these removed, um, because we're not going to be using them on the top one. I could probably use that. Uh, no, because it's set up to go in this one. Uh, I've still got to figure out how to get the uh, reinforced plates over here. Okay, so that one line there. Get rid of these. Okay. Uh, so, what are you for? You're for plates, but you're coming from. Yeah, you're running all the way down there, which is kind of a pain. Um, but it's just the way it is. So, now I've got to figure out. First, how to get rods down here, which isn't too much of an issue. And then I need to get the. Let's see, right, so what we're going to do. Uh, the one splitter. There. Yeah. Right, 
So if we go maybe up to there like that, and then we're gonna want like that. Right, that can be for rods. Here and we drop um, a splitter like so. And let's go. Um, yeah, oh, no, press it. There we go. No. Yeah, that's right. Uh, sounds like we need. That'll do the job. Okay, so that's going to be uh, our rods. Like so. Yeah, I think I'll be able to work this out. Okay, so we're going to have uh, these two at the end here are going to be running, are uh, going to be producing our iron, reinforced iron plates. Uh, what do you produce again? 7.5 a minute and you need 12 a minute. Ooh. Um. Well, they're bringing 270 and these need 75 each. So 150 a piece, which is 300 for the four. So technically, I'm a little behind on the copper wire, but we'll get to that eventually. This is more in it, more than anything. This is just going to be a temporary setup. Right now, I just need to figure out how I'm going to get my reinforced plates back here. Um, gap there. Alright, let's try something. Um, nope, I need eight splitter. Um, we're gonna go... Yeah, that's perfectly in line there. Uh, and I want it that way. But it's not in line. Is it in line with the centre of the machine? That's not where I want it. Um, is that good enough? work. Yes it will. Awesome. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go... Oh no! No, 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 no! That! That's what I want. So, uh, like so, and then we want, no, I keep getting on that merger. See if I just can drag them in my app so that you can send them off. Um, why aren't you moving? All oh, right, yeah, because it's okay. So that now goes in. Oh, yeah, my like app. Now the hard part 
<clears throat> All right, seven. Nope. We need eight. Exactly neat, but I'll do for the time being. And then we need to do the same on the other side. Um, we need. Um, no, this is going to be a splitter. Press eight. There you go. Um, and we need the import. Like so. And then bring it out. What was it? Yeah, it was on the right on the edge. Almost there now. Okay, so now all we need is our mergers. So that should all start moving now. Awesome, off we go. Okay, so number three. There. And then we want a we need a good old splitter. Oh no, wrong way. Gotta be a new. Oh, it centered itself again. Um, seven, eight. Oh, there we are. That's where we wanted it. Okay. So now you're going to be making. Uh, module frames and so are you and yep you are as well and so are you okay so now we just need to hook them up to some power as I run that line down here All right, so hook you up and hook you up. Oh no, that was a mistake. Alright, hook you up and hook you up. Alrighty. So now we have <clears throat> our reinforced iron plates and now we have modulate the modular frames now running as well so what we can do next is we can set up our rods for our next two machines so we want let's say um eight we want a splitter Uh, 
about there. And then another splitter about there. Should work okay. And then we'll um, put you in there. Put you in there. See, this is the problem when you're building and <laughs> you run out of room. Uh, so, you in there. So now the only thing we've got to think about is how we're going to get screws down here. And how many am I going to need? Uh, this is going to be for our motors. Uh, 132 per minute. And I need it for four of them. Wow. Um, oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, so we can go plan this out. We've still got nine minutes before I actually, oh, before I actually have to worry about the length of the video. Okay, so we have right here. We have our storage, and this is full of rods. Uh, how's the production here? Yeah, it's keeping up quite nicely. Okay. So now we have to figure out what we're going to do about making screws because I know we need screws for a few different things. Um, we need them for, where is it? I know we need it for the rotors, what, what else do we need them for? Well we do normally need them for the iron plates but of course I've got the copper wire for that. I may switch over to the original recipe if I, could, if I can do better producing screws. Um, so, we need to think, now these produce the same rods as over there, which I think was 180 per minute, yeah 180 per minute, and um, let's see, uh, do I have enough for a constructor rather than that here, uh, production, constructor, have I got space to put you down, yes I do, Okay, so we want screws. Uh, 90 per minute, 15 rods per minute. Okay, so I can put down 12 constructors to create screws. Alrighty then. Sounds pretty sweet. So now I need to figure out where I want to do this. How much concrete do I have? I have plenty of concrete. Okay, so. What I want to do first is I really want to sort out all these because I want to put stairs in because they take up far less space and much more convenient. Okay, uh, so let's remove you. I'm going to go wall. Uh, let's put a wall in there right now. Now, uh, organization, no is it not, oh foundation, okay, right, so um, let's start down here, and you're going to go like that, like that, everything but oh pokes out a little but look can I put a constructor on the top um production oh yeah it don't seem to matter good um so let's go nine let's start Filling this up. Oh no, because that's gonna get in the way. No, I have to have a whoop. I have to have a flush floor. It won't drive me nuts otherwise. Oh, 
Alrighty, so uh, give me a minute to build the floor and I will be right back with you. Alrighty, so that's the floor now complete. Now all we need to do is figure out where we're going to put our constructors. And how we're going to work this out because we are going to be producing quite a lot of screws um, considering each of my um, each of my constructors is going to be producing 90 per minute um, so my mark 3 belts can only handle three 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 constructors per line and we're going to be doing 12 so that's going to be four lines Um, so, what I really need to do is figure out a good way to set all these up. Because I'm going to have to split. Um, basically, I'm going to have to split this one line into four. Into 45s, basically. Ooh. Right, so if I split it into two and then split it into two again, that'll give me my four lines. Okay, so we're going to start by um, walls. Let's just get that connection from bottom to top up and running. Um, and we go, just go mark three. Uh, yeah, that the, comes up a good fine. Okay, so that gives us all this room to play with. So now I need to have four groups of three that I can split this one line into. Um, so if I go splitter. There, uh, splitter there, and a splitter there. Okay, so um, that'll split one into two, and then I use that to split two into four. Uh, so now I just need to figure out how I'm going to put these down. Um, um, this is the awkward part. I guess the simplest way to do it would probably be if I go eight for a splitter. And I put one there and I put one on top of it. And then I can go into the bottom. Into the top That'll give me the lines I need, and then all I need to do um, production instructors. And we're going to line them up with the wall um, walls conveyors. Let's see. I'm sure, I can make that smaller because that's taking up a hell of a lot of room. Alright, let me fiddle with this and back in. Alright, welcome back. And we have now finished our screw making, processing, plan, whatever you want to call it. It's 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 alright. So basically what I've done is everything goes to this first splitter here. Uh, I have mark one belts uh, to go in because they only need 45 between three of them it's 45 per minute. 
so it's just easier using them and then of course it splits off two times and it splits off two more times and it works up to exactly 180 bars which is what's going to be coming through okay so all we need to do now we need to hook everything up Meat. And that should be bringing in the pipes or is it not connected properly down below oh that would help oh, I'm gonna have to go down there and do this manually oh there we are alrighty let's get up there and watch our Ooh, factory in action. And, oh, this, them stairs are a bit too spinny for my taste. Um, let's put some uh, foundation here. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Awesome. Now that's going to overflow eventually and it'll back up a bit. But that's not a problem. Seems to be doing relatively okay. Everything's running. Absolutely awesome. Okay, so we are now going to be producing uh, 90 times 12. Um, 90 times by 12. 1080 screws per minute we are now going to be producing from this factory which is pretty nice uh, which means now we can go down here and figure out what our next one is going to be um, if I remember rightly we're using which ones is it it's going to be these, this, this one here and uh, this one here and they're going to be making the rotors which means we need 132 screws each per minute which isn't the end of the world um, yeah that's fine and then we'll stop you as well as well and then all we need to do is figure out how we're going to get our screws down here uh, maybe do the same thing I did with uh, these guys here because that's 260 which means I'm going to need two lines in order to convey them and then these two here I'm thinking maybe the encased industrial beams they could make them for me not sure yet, not decided. But that's for another day. And on that note, it is time for us to call it an episode. So if you like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I will see you next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.